We have a big day ahead. It's a red flag warning day. So we have high wind warnings and wind advisories all across Southern California, but also the state. We have this red flag warning that'll continue all the way through tomorrow. It looks like your Thursday about two o'clock is when we're going to see that red flag warning expire. Finally, wind advisories and red flag warning conditions means we are in an elevated fire threat. So again, this is going to be one of the days where we're looking at the widespread or rapid spread of fire. If a fire should break out in the wind, especially the low humidity, you can spark a fire very easily in Southern California doing some of the usual stuff that you do in any, any day. I've, I've reported on wildfires being started by people going out into grassy areas and riding dirt bikes or ATVs. I mean, those are the type of things that you want to avoid today. Um, you're heading into Northern California. You're also looking at red flag warning conditions there. So we know that resources for the state of California are being spread across. Winds are going to be even picking up at the beaches. 24 to 25 mile per hour wind gusts at our coastline. We don't often see that. Mountain communities. 38 degrees to 43. And and finally, the high desert's getting up to about 61. John, we'll send it back over your way. All right. Clarita, 74 into Van Nuys. And you might feel it on your skin, on your eyes, on your lips. It's very dry outside. And I think by this afternoon, it's going to get worse. So for your sinus sufferers, and you know that days like today really impact you, you want to keep some of the over Such drying taking place in our atmosphere. It's only going to get drier. 9% relative humidity is expected in a large majority of Southern California. We have a pocket of dry, cold air coming from the Gulf of Alaska sinking southbound. And as we head into 6 a.m., then you get into your eight o'clock hour this morning and we're almost up to 40 mile per hour winds again some of these gusts especially as you get higher in terrain could get up to about 60 to 80 miles per hour i mean those are ferocious winds you just don't want to see a fire break out in that type of a situation we'll see those temperatures slowly come right back down our wind speeds come right back down to about 17 that's about five six o'clock today so this is not going to last the entire day so the good news is the duration at least will slow down some before we pick up again tomorrow tomorrow morning we're going to see another round of windy weather high wind warnings are going to go in effect and stay in effect all the way through 2 p.m tomorrow then you head into a red flag warning situation for much of southern california wow. a national weather service uh, just titling this